Hey everyone, welcome back to another AMG tutorial. Today I'm actually going to be explaining to you how to get into orbit and uh, dock. This is a orbit slash uh, docking tutorial. Now I'm going to be explaining it completely uh, as basic as possible without any any like uh, technical terms whatsoever. If you look at your actual compass now, you'll notice you don't have any yellow circles or any, any other markings on this. Now uh, to give you an example, when I'm going to hit the acceleration, I'm going to end up with a yellow circle right here. Now uh, what does that mean, the yellow circle? That means that I'm traveling in that general direction. So for example, if you're going to kick a ball straight, uh, the ball will obviously be going straight, that being here, which is straight up into the space. And if there is wind blowing, let's say from the west, and uh, it's let's say 5 meters per second, it'll move the yellow line here, it'll move the actual ball. So uh, if you're going to kick a ball and the wind blows at the damn ball, the ball obviously is not going to turn immediately, it's going to swerve a little bit. Well, the same principle applies here. So if I'm accelerating here, I'm going to have the yellow circle here. If I start accelerating here, the yellow circle will slowly move towards that angle. It's the same principle as the ball flying in the air. It won't automatically switch to that direction. Because uh, imagine flying just straight up here. Look at the mouse, straight up here. And then you want to go right. Obviously, you can't fly and then turn right. It doesn't go like that. It then slowly curves. Well, the same principle here. So let's get into the air now. I'm going to put on my SAS and launch away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go till between 10 to 15,000 meters in the air and then I'm going to turn a 90 degrees, which is here, you see the 90 mark on the globe, at a 45 degree angle. Now if you look at the actual, the, uh, the actual coordinates, 90, 135, you also have at an angle, you have, what, what is that, 70, 60, 50, 40, I'm going to go at a 45 degree at 90. Why is that? Well, because shooting straight up into the air doesn't give you an actual orbit. If you're going to hit M, you're going to see what your trajectory is, where you are supposedly flying. Currently, I'm going to be flying all the way up. And if I move my mouse on uh, this sort of arrow, it shows how high my maximum height is. It's 20,000 meters. I'll probably reach 20,000 meters now. 24, 25. It keeps increasing. See, now I'm at 13,000, 15,000 meters. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my map and watch this. I'm going to switch off my SAS and then I'll move 90 and look at the actual thing now open up. I'm going to move the 45 degree angle. You see it open up? I'm going to actually move it more. And I'm going to stop it right there. And you will notice that it is going back down. You will notice that it is going back down because I'm still not above the actual gravity. So it is being pulled back down. Now I have to decouple and continue burning. And if you see I am going now at a zero angle at 90 degrees it is still opening up but not that much. Now the most effective way to burn your fuel is at the highest point. And if I move my mouse over this currently I only have one point Okay, so this is my highest point. So the closest I get to this place, the less fuel I use. So let's do that. Let me switch off my SAS and RCS. And I'm going to hit X. I'm going to shut it down. And you'll see now that my actual altitude stays the same. I'm going to be moving up. Let's speed it up a bit. Let's get closer. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Now, I don't want to pass this because if I pass this, then I'm going to be going down. Obviously, logic states that I'm going to be going down if I pass that point. So what I'm going to do, as you noticed, I did move my angle up, my angle towards the sky, higher. And you see it's going far away, and if I move like towards the zero line, currently you see the yellow circle is at the zero line where I was before. So you see how I'm dancing, I'm making the apoapsis dance around me. So that that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep it sort of as close as possible, but not too close. Okay. Now as I get closer, I'm going to move it. And there we go. 153,000 meters. Now, breaking orbit usually is, uh, you need around 2,000, 2,300 meters per second to break it. You know, and you see it's opening up. This is my current trajectory or my orbit, but my orbit currently is inside Kerbal. So there's not really much of an orbit because I'm going to be crashing down back to Earth. Now, make sure that your actual trajectory, this blue line, is above 70,000 meters. 
75,000 meters. Otherwise, it's going to be pulled back down to earth like in the beginning that you saw. When I removed my hand off the actual, switched off the engines, it just moves back down. Now, again, I'm far away. Let's uh, move closer to the zero line. I do want to stay as close as possible to this. I don't want it that far. And uh, at a zero angle. Still 90 degrees, yes? I put on my SAS and we're going to be catching up to it, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's just catch up to it. It's okay. There's plenty of time and we are at a decent speed. Let's take a look at our fuel. We got plenty of fuel. We're pretty high though. Now remember, the higher you make it go, the more fuel you'll consume to get to this heights. For example, I should have turned 90 degrees earlier. When I when I turned 90 degrees, I was already, let's say, 12,000 meters high. My height was 12,000 meters when I was going up into space. If I turned at... Uh, if I turned at 10,000 meters, I wouldn't be this high. This is a little too high. You'll burn a little extra fuel to get this high. It's not a big deal. I switched off the engines now because I do want to get closer. Okay? It's not a big deal, but, you know, I would recommend you make it a little bit lower. I'd, make it around 140,000 between to 160,000 meter mark. It's good. It's a good point to actually have a docking you know it's a safe it's sort of a safe thing now you see again the yellow line is there that's that's sort of where i like where where i'm heading where where my movement is going because remember i do have still energy stored up or whatever you want to call it kinetic energy stored up so i am continually flying towards that point so i'm going to just point towards that point which is now the yellow circle without the cross in it is forward. Now you see I didn't finally make an orbit, but it's low. Let's move my mouse on top of it. It's low. This is 161,000, and let's get it sort of equal, 160. Now the best way to know if it's equal, they sort of line up on opposite ends here. Now, if you move your mouse on one of them, one is 158, and one is 162. The best place to burn your fuel to make an orbit, to increase the orbit, is at the lowest point. Because you'll use less fuel. That's in case you want to travel to different planets, but that's a different story. Here I'm just teaching you how to dock. So this is what happens. In the most optimal things, you should try to make a perfect circle. Obviously if you mess it up, you know, that happens as well. But it's not such a big deal. So, you finally do have an orbit. And here's the orbit part of the tutorial. Next thing, we will try to dock. Let's take a look at our ship. We, we have plenty of fuel. We're going to go to our space center. Launch another one. I'm going to launch another one of these ships. 